Lord have mercy this dog. I need dirt. I got holes in the ground. Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back. So I'm outside. <laughs> of course, as you see, zone 9A. Zone 9A. It's a mess out here. It's been raining. And I want to show you what's growing. I actually have some busted bags. I'm thinking that um, she did that. And I want to put some uh, leaves out. Um, Christopher's dad has all these huge trees in his backyard, so it gives me these leaves. He doesn't have any dogs or any animals in the backyard, so I can just use them as like, um, like composting leaves or like, um, mulching, right? And I have a few beds and a few areas I want to mulch today. I have my glasses on, y'all, because I've been reading this morning, but I decided to leave them on. I thought it was going to be really cold out here today. It's not. It's just ugly. I, I, get from over there. Get from over there. So, um, girl, she keeps eating my carrots and lettuce. But anyway, I'm going to show you what's growing over here and what we have going on. I am going to pull up this cauliflower. I am going to probably pull up some of this broccoli because I've already cut the heads off of the broccoli. If I harvest anything, I'm just going to harvest it and throw it on the kitchen table and show you what it looks like. But I kind of just want to give you a quick update of what's going on in my garden. I know someone asked me about my mustard greens, how they're coming along, yada, yada. And... I'm not growing as much as I did last year. So I might drop a few more seeds down because um, by March, maybe we'll even have more because that's when we kind of get cold, February, March. Well, January, February, right? And then March, I'll have them. So I might drop some more seeds. I'll show you what's going on in my towers that are over here. Um, but today, I'm going to try to clean up today as much as I can. And uh, I'm glad that it rains so that if I have, uh, I'm probably going to do weeds picking. But if I see some weeds I need to kind of grab, it should be easy to like pull out. All right. I just put the dog in the house. I'm going to keep filming because my camera's waterproof anyway. But um, yeah, so we have these uh, lantanas still growing. My irises are coming back. You know, they kind of like died off on me a little bit in the summer. Or, you know, they're coming back. So they should be blooming purple, like a purplish pink color, hopefully. And then, of course, we have everything back here that we just had in this box, like this random box. Those flowers are so pretty. They grew so much better outside than inside. I think that's calendula. And then um, some more purple flowers. And then this thing just got ate up. And I kind of left it here so that if the bugs ate anything, it would eat that and not, you know, pretty much mess with the calendula. So this is the blueberry blackberry bush we had and you see that it has like that fall leaf color now and it's still growing up on the vine so hopefully come um spring and summer we get a lot of blackberries i don't know how stuff it be and this is jasmine she has this whole thing leaning to the side it's kind of heavy on it but whatever all right so making our way over here we want to take um this bag today and just dump it on both of these beds here of um, leaves, right? Um, in this actual box, let me tap the screen. Yeah, so in this, uh, oh my God, I hate that this is doing this. All right, so in this actual box right here, we just have, looks like some more strawberries coming. Um, yeah, the actual, well, the leaves at least. And I've never seen the leaves turn this color. That's interesting. They like some carrots, some more carrots are popping up. If not, like carrots are ready to be picked. These like the little fingerling carrots. Yeah, I just probably take them. Just eat that today. Anyway, I'm gonna go get a big bowl and harvest some of this stuff today, especially like this broccoli because I want to get it before it pops open on me. So um, and starts like flowering. These are little bit flowers actually, but when the flowers open up, it's it's a weird taste, but we eat it anyway. So I'm definitely going to harvest that today. Over here, what is this? Here's a tomato. Does it have any holes in it? Nope. All right, here's a tomato. <laughs> yeah, in the winter. Go figure, right? All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and I forget what type of mustard this is. It's something weird. I'm probably going to harvest all this stuff. And, I, oh shoot, it's so wet. I got my boots on. Yeah, this stuff is starting to flower. Um, probably can pull some of this up and compost some of this. Um, here, look how be beautiful this leaf is, y'all. It's like my whole entire arm. It's huge. 
I'm going to go ahead and get all this harvested, chopped or whatever and either eaten today or use it for wraps or just freeze it. I'd rather freeze my greens just so you know. Um, this is the last section to open up. I haven't opened up this section because actually I was going to get rid of this box. It's like some makeshift box or whatever. So that's why I didn't open up this section. So it, it's a lot of mud through here. But anyway, I transplanted these Brussels and I mean, they're doing better than they were but we've had some inconsistent weather and a lot of little rain so it's been kind of weird and they're not really doing anything but anyway this was supposed to be starting to grow but um dinosaur kill but it's not this lavender is growing so won't complain about that it's been coming back this is like the third year oh this is the second year third year third year so yeah i love lavender it smells good it's pretty beneficial too in your teas yeah, I love it, love it, love it. So let me move them right here. All right, so this box right here, I wanted to get rid of these boxes this year and build some boxes. So these boxes will probably go in the trash for spring and you'll see nothing but beds. And then I think I'm gonna build boxes um, along my fence. Just a bunch of boxes. I don't know. She didn't came back outside. Girl. <sighs> okay. Um okay so you remember i had all these split off these beds just like that split off so i took all that wood up and now it's just all beds right now so this is coming up all this broccoli that i've already chopped off is coming out and i'm going to clean up these beds i'm going to show you what it looks like when i'm done but i'm definitely going to clean up all this that i've already cut the heads off of and then the ones that need to be cut like this one and then that one, we're gonna cut the heads and just chop up the leaves or something. The smaller leaves, I'm gonna eat. These bigger ones are a little tough for me, but the smaller leaves, definitely gonna chop them up and freeze them for something. But this is gonna free up all the space in the bed. I'll till it real good. Not till it, but like, you know, uh, rake it real good, add some leaves or whatever. And then I'll come back and drop some seeds. I did order some seeds from um the free heirloom seed company and so they should be here in a couple weeks or i think like 60 65 seeds or something packs or whatever so yeah anyway yeah this is beautiful i just cannot say it enough this is beautiful you see all those down there i'm gonna show you yeah see that beautiful oh yeah can't wait anyway so all that will be cleaned up this will be free to actually grow now. This uh, red shard, or is it red shard or is it um, rhubarb? I don't know. We'll see. And then this is cauliflower. It's huge. I'm just going to put it up. This is that purplish color. Really pretty. Look at my hand to it. It's huge, y'all. So I have that one. I have that one. Uh, maybe we'll make cauliflower wings today. I have that one. So all this is going to be pulled up today. Even this uh, fennel. I keep saying leek, girl. It's fennel. Okay. Who are you barking at? Pulling that cabbage up today. All this is going to be pulled today. I'm going to clean all this and just set it on the kitchen table. And you'll see. Um, this is going to look so empty. <laughs> oh, man. It sucks. But anyway. So the zinnias are zinnian. Okay. These are all just weeds around here. I'm not going to mess with the weeds. I'll probably put up some of this lettuce and all this. I'm probably not going to pull that up today. Yeah, I'm probably not going to pull this up today. I'll leave that. So, once again, the iris is coming back. No, no, stop eating my carrots. Um, yeah, so this one is trying to form a head. Yeah, I don't know. If it does, it does. If it doesn't, it's all good. I'm going to definitely get some of this kale um, from out here. Look how pretty and curly this is. Oh, I love that. Kale, kale. That one got bugs in it. That's a Chinese cabbage. But anyway, uh, the blue kale, going to get that up for sure. Um, cut a lot of this back for sure. Uh, harvest that. This huge mustard is huge. I'm probably going to pull it up and do a picture um, as my screenshot. <laughs> as my thumbnail to show you how big this is. I think I'm going to pull it up because I want to plant something here. And um, 
plant some more mustard somewhere else so we'll talk about that when we get to that point but definitely it comes up to like past my waist child it's huge so i'm just gonna put it up and then that way the purple one can grow and all my um eggplant can grow because the eggplant can't even get sun right now it's so confused oh it's so confused yeah it doesn't know what to do all right so that is this bed and there's still some stuff growing back there of course that's this bed along the wall the green just looks so beautiful i just love the way this green luscious um you know this this just looks so luscious and green i love it yep 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 yep, yep. you're gonna be so dirty oh my god you're gonna be so dirty all right so i'm gonna get started on that in a minute let's swing around try to just not have to edit okay um, this purple potato vine thing is still growing. Look how big it is. I think it's going to get even larger. Let me put this cushion up. She already took like a bunch of cushions in my backyard, Lord. Um, this right here is just some lettuce that's growing in the bag. We just threw some lettuce out here, lettuce seeds. We'll see how that goes. And moving along here, remember I tried to make a mulch border around here i mean it only lasted for so long and now it's like okay whatever so i think stop stop eat, eating that stuff so i think what i'm gonna do is just like i said build me some boxes i just need to learn if i could build one i can build some more to start boxing all right um yeah nothing's happening here nothing's happening here nothing's happening here all these trees just look like sticks and it's just horrible. This is a giant deal. So we just probably gonna pull it up too. Yeah. Just probably pull it up and harvest all that. Christopher likes making like the ranch uh, dip with this deal. So I'm just gonna pull it up for him. He keeps coming out here cutting on it. I just pull it and dry it real quick. And then uh, my banana tree looks dead. Like dead. <laughs> Okay, lemongrass, y'all know we keep cutting that. You can tell she got a haircut. No spitting ends, all right? Then we over here, we're over here to this box where this lettuce is trying to grow. This is so vibrant and so pretty to me. This is the flowers from the sage, pineapple sage bush. Oh my God, these are so pretty. Now, I'm not harvesting any more of this. I, I'm over this. I have so much of this. I have a whole canister of this. And it looks like some cilantro, um, green onions, and all the things. look like ginger, but I don't think it's growing. I think it's probably like over. It's too wet or something. Or maybe. Yeah, I don't think it's actually producing ginger. Girl, maybe it is. Oh no, it's, that's, mm -mm. okay, just leave it alone. All right, so more lettuce, cilantro, a lot of lettuce. I want this to be a lettuce box actually. And I don't know why it's doing what it's doing. Maybe because it's holding water. No, with the spout is open. Mm. Anyway, look how pretty this lettuce is. Like, oh my God, it's beautiful. Um, I don't know if this is weeds or things are actually like growing in here. Well, this is actually something growing. That's kale for sure. But yeah, everything looks like dried out. Girl, this must be garlic. Look, y'all. Anyway, um, yeah. So some more lettuce. Oh, you're so pretty. Do y'all see this? Wow. Come into the wow you are beautiful girl you are pretty i'm gonna eat that today okay so yeah all this some more lettuce and ginger and the pear tree is huge 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 what a dog okay i gotta watch tell y'all y'all don't know so um, i need to clean this up i brought my tray outside but i need to clean this up the flowers they're here. Oh, it's about to storm. This mint. This dinosaur kale. I don't mind working in the rain. I just don't want the camera in the rain. But I'm going to go ahead and pull some of this kale out too. On these ragged leaves. And get rid of some of these old leaves or whatever. And 
Yeah. But this one's starting to flower too. I wonder if this is like a Chinese mustard. Like the ones I got from the Asian market. That's probably what that is. Y'all know we eat everything. So it doesn't even matter. If we don't eat it, the dogs eat it. Um, we're going to go ahead and pull this karabi today. And see what she tastes like. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm just showing you what's going on and what's growing. And I hate that these are flowering because the weather has been so unpredictable. Um, this this baby needs a haircut, this um, lemongrass. So maybe we'll give her a haircut today. We have some, looks like something's growing there. Um, yeah, and over here we have some mustard growing. We have some beautiful kale back here. They just look so good and so strong on the back of this um, tower. So good. We have some lettuce back here. Yeah. Everything looks so good. Some more lettuce back here. I might swing this tower around a little bit. Turn it, twist it around a little bit. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so the eggplant, I'm just going to cut it back today. Um, back a little bit. That way it can grow back for spring. Because y'all know I love the eggplant. And there's some more dinosaur, dinosaur kill popping up. This girl is... Um, yeah, I didn't know this was in here. Radish. Um, yeah, so let me show you the Thai basil. Because someone was like, yeah, Thai basil in spring. Is da -da -da -da. I've had Thai basil year round for three years now. And it is still doing its thing. Like, literally, it is still doing its thing. Those flowers, they just still bring the bees. No journey. Um, yeah. So, this has my sage. Um, this is like my, my medicinal um, tower. See? Let me show you. I don't know if it's going to focus. There's the bees right there. Um, sage, it has the lemon basil, all this is going to come right back, all this, it's just, I love it, it's so pretty, and this tomato plant is just keep growing, just keeps growing. Now, I did cut back all the pepper plants, as I do every year, so they can just, you know, already be established and ready to grow again, I just cut them back. Journey, move, 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 move. Um, we still have some of this actually trying to produce flowers here but i did cut all this back this one is a i think it's a broccoli i don't know what's in, what that is actually it's probably cabbage girl it was some seeds i had and so this tower doesn't look as lush as it would normally look but we still have things growing we're in texas so it is what it is houston texas and we're able to grow a lot and i think when it really gets cold i'm just going to cover them up with some shower curtain um, plastic shower curtains. I think I'm just going to try to go and hot glue and fuse some together with some Gorilla Glue and make me some covers for my towers and call it a day. Try to make some covers. Yeah, so that's that. That's what everything looks like. So far, and this is four towers. The fifth tower, look at that, now I'm leaning. The fifth tower is actually in the front of the home. So I'll show that to you. Miss Peaches is huge. She has no leaves, but I have faith that she's gonna come back it's strong, okay? And then we have, girl, this dog is rolling in the mud. Then we have our peppermint baskets back there. They just need to be a bunch of, I'm gonna add a bunch of leaves in those big barrels right there and instead of dirt. And then I'll throw some seeds down it's time to do it for peppermint. But this huge cherry bush is just, I can't wait, okay? So, other than that, the yard looks horrible. It looks so horrible. There's like a hole here, a hole here, a hole here. But she is great pirony, so <laughs> get up, girl. Stop rolling this dirt. Come on. Come on. Uh, that's what she does. So, let me go ahead and harvest some stuff, and I'll meet y'all on the inside. All right, so I washed everything up that I harvested. I probably could do another wash of these for sure. This is from that one bushel of mustards. Look at my hands. <laughs> my hands look like all like wrinkled and everything. That's crazy. Anyway, I've been in the water with my hands trying to wash all these. But they look really good. I only had a few. I had to toss from that one bushel. 
And um, yeah, I probably chopped these up today with some beans and I don't know, maybe, I don't know. I'm not in the mood for like cornbread. Yeah, see like I'm seeing little pieces of dirt still. So I'll wash them again. They've already been washed twice. The third time it will be after I chop them so I can really get in between those folds. Because I like to make sure they're clean like throughout the spine. Yeah, for sure. So I'll let these sit and dry out just a little bit. Like this one don't look that great. Yeah. However, the rest of these look so good, so amazing. I can smell them. I just cannot freaking wait. So I'll probably be eating on that today. And then this is the deal. Went ahead and washed up the deal. Oh, my hands look horrible. I'm so sorry, y'all. Uh, went ahead and washed up that deal. Oh, yes. I mean, this smells so good. I'm just going to tie a string and hang it to dry. I was going to dry it in the air fryer and do like the light um, on. Um, I'm dropping stuff, y'all. Hold on. I'm going to wash this again anyway. I was going to do it on air fryer. You know how I put it on the lowest setting and let it dehydrate? But I'm just going to hang it to dry so we can have maybe some fresh dill in the refrigerator and the rest like that dry dill. And then I got some cilantro from my Cook and Grow. Yeah. Today. Um, yeah, it's a trash bag or some stuff. It's mopped the floor because I brought in all kind of dirt, y'all. <laughs> anyway, I love those boots because they keep my feet warm. But this, I think it's a Chinese kale. What I'm going to do is, no, a Chinese mustard. I'm going to put the name on the screen if I can find it. Let me show you. This is what it looks like. It's a type of leaf it is. Yeah, see, it's still dirty. It's still a little bit of... Yeah, see, these, th the thing is, I don't like to grow things this, this small in the spine because you have to get in between, like, all this. Like, these little thin spots to clean, and it's annoying. But I'm going to wash it and spin it and clean it again. I just want to get that, knock that dirt off of it before I put it on my table. And, of course, my favorite, the um, blue, like, curly kale. This is the one I like to massage with olive oil and seasonings and herbs and putting the air fryer for chips if i do that i'll put a picture in right here i just pull some random carrots to chomp on and evidently my dog she likes carrots so i just put her some to chop on real quick as a snack these are the sugar rush peppers yeah and then I have these. This is the more tougher blend of the kale. One thing about kale, you got to be careful how much you consume if you have a thyroid issue, for sure. This is the one I like to put in my juice. <laughs> I eat it and, you know, massage it real good to make it like, you know, when I do my massage kale or whatever. But, you know, it's so strong. But I like to put this in with pineapple and ginger. Yeah. Just that random beet I pull. Just throw that in the salad today. This is the kohlrabi. I've never had kohlrabi as far as I know. I don't know if I've ever really had it because I eat a lot of fruits and vegetables and I go to restaurants and just ask for whatever. But I'm definitely going to cut this open and saute this today with like some greens or something just, just because. And then this baby had a few little holes in it so I wasn't sure what was on the inside. But I think it's tightly packed, this cabbage. I'll chop it up and see. Maybe do cabbage steaks or something and see what's in there. My battery's getting low, so I'm going to move a little bit faster. This is the fennel, right? This is the fennel that looks so much like that deal. That's so crazy. You see this little, um, I don't know if there's dirt or bugs. It's whatever it is. Uh, I, all this has to be washed again. I'm just trying to get all that dirt off the bottom, basically. This is the cauliflower so putting the purple next to it you can really see the purple pop on that cauliflower yeah i don't know i've never had this before don't know the variety but your girl is about to eat some of this as if it is cauliflower wings honey best believe i'm gonna go get some hot sauce i try to get all in between those cracks and make sure there's no bugs but i best believe yeah now this broccoli y'all know i can eat this raw it is gassy Broccoli can be very gassy on my stomach, um, as well as others. I'm sure we all know this, but I love a good raw broccoli straight from the garden. Uh, yeah, we just take a little gas sex or something and call it a day. Um, shard, I get this from the front almost like every other day. I like shard. 
and my salad. So I just go and grab some um, from the front. And for some reason, I keep thinking this is rhubarb. But whatever, I eat it all. So yeah, it is what it is. And let me see if I can get like a really nice screenshot there. Yep. So that can be a really good screenshot for my thumbnail. But um, I hope this video is much clearer than the last one. Because I've been playing with this camera trying to make sure I am one in focus to the ISO is set correctly and the speed 4K. I took it off the 8K and put it on the 4K and I'm practicing. And uh, yeah, it feels good to have this camera, but I love it. Um, yeah, so anyway, I'm about to finish cleaning up my kitchen, find me something to eat, make me some juice. I just wanted to share this with you all today. The juice of the day will probably be pineapple something. Because I have a ton of pineapple. Probably that pineapple and that kill, like I said, ginger. Wow, my hands are so... <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. Anyway, thanks for hanging out with me today on this rainy day here in Texas before the weather starts to drop. Now, I have so much space left now outdoors to drop seeds. So I'll come back and drop some with you all. I plan on going to Dollar Tree to see if they come out with their gardening stuff supplies yet i did go to dollar tree about a week or so ago and let me show you what i got real quick before i go um i can't go over the seeds i ordered from the free seed heirloom company because it's like 30 64 seeds i think so when i get here i'll, I'll, I'll do that with you then but um i did go to dollar tree and I was looking for something else. And when I walked in there, I found some seeds. So I can show you what I picked up from Dollar Tree real quick. I keep my seeds in these containers. I'll link them. You can get them from Michael's when they're on sale or just grab them off of Amazon. They come in those colorful ones too. They're actually the picture boxes. I separate mine. Let me show you. I'm so hungry. Oh, man. My stomach is rattling. You know what? I think I'm going to have a smoothie. I'm hungry like right now and I don't think I can wait. So, plus I need to get to the gym today. So, for this container, it's all labeled like this. And these are like my regular seeds. All of my regular, like regular seeds from Lowe's, you know, Home Depot. Like these seed packs like right here. Regular seeds. The ones that are in this box are like my Baker Creek and my free heirloom seeds. I'm just trying to keep them separate. I just need to label them. I need to label them. Yeah, I need to. I need to get another label. But um, I just been trying to keep my Baker Creek seeds separate. For that cauliflower, I forget the um, name of the cauliflower. But the rest of the stuff, a lot of stuff was seeded. Some of the stuff was purchased from my local nursery. I told you it was not really local to me, but it's uh, like my zone area local. Um, so I did pick up some of these four for a dollar seeds. They work just fine. All the carrot seeds work just fine, just so you know from Dollar Tree for sure. I picked out a ton of carrots over the last couple of months. And these are just the regular four for a dollar ones. And I have them going in a small section. So they all are the heirloom variety um, carrot red color. And I don't know what to say. Oh, uh, this is the Danvers High Long. Oh, I didn't realize these were different. And then these are the red cord. I didn't know that. Look at Dollar Tree trying to come up with a different variety. It says uh, March to June. Whatever. Y'all know me. I like to drop in February. Our temperatures are really different here anyway. The weather's changed so much over the time. But these are some of the... Uh, be, no, these are radishes, and these are the radishes I've planted before, and they just keep growing. I don't know if they just keep popping up or what, but I've planted these before from Dollar Tree chives for sure. I like to get the Dollar Tree chives. I'm not buying no four or five dollar pack of chives. I'm not doing that. Cilantro. I need to drop some probably today of this. We go through a lot of cilantro. I did get the Detroit um, dark red beets. I ordered some of the golden beets from. The free heirloom seed company because yeah i'm i'm trying to grow beets this year somehow suddenly i'm trying to grow beets it says um may through june but i'm really trying to grow beets this year 
We'll see how that goes. Sage. I love sage. I know I like pineapple sage, regular sage. I like the blue sage too. Even the white for wrapping sage bundles. I haven't done that in like the last year or so. But yeah. Now this is a container variety. And this is the parsley. And um, I grew this before. The only thing about it is so tight. Like it's hard to wash in between those. Whatever. But anyway. And more lavender. I'm going to drop this. Pretty soon. I don't think this is container. Yeah, container variety. So maybe I'll drop them in my gross my gross stock containers or the green stock. I did get a pack of zinnias, but this also has semi dwarf. Oh, it's this a semi dwarf zinnia. And it's that big bag. It's the one you just like spread out everywhere. <laughs> if you want a lot of flowers, I love zinnias. It's my favorite flower. So y'all already know that zinnias and um. I like magnolia flowers and um, gardenias. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put all this stuff away. And then I'm going to take an account of what I need, which I need a lot of tomatoes because y'all don't like to grow tomatoes. I like to start growing early because we get hot here in Texas. So I don't really go by like what they say to do when it comes to growing your like tomatoes. Peppers, I can kind of like follow directions. But some of that stuff, I'm like, mm, I kind of know when to start growing. I did really well last year with tomatoes, if you remember. I don't even know if I have any pictures, but I said this year I'm going to try to do better with keeping pictures. I think it's because I upload so much on Instagram reels that I tend to just throw a reel back up when I want to discuss, like, something from the past, right? Instead of just pulling up pictures. So, <clears throat> this year I'm going to do better with pictures i ordered a bunch of um zin uh, zinnias marigolds and um <clears throat> nasturtiums i i ordered a ton of those because the nasturtiums last year <clears throat> they were pretty it's just that i think i put them in the wrong space so i'm gonna do better with where i put them now and uh yeah go from there so thank you all again for hanging out with me i am not sure so I had a greenhouse before, <laughs> kind of got messed up with weather. I'm not sure if I'm doing a greenhouse thing. The reason why I want to do one is because I want to get all these trays seeded and throw them outside. But I want them to be protected. When I don't have them protected, I notice that they um, don't really produce well for me. But those greenhouses, they're so flimsy. I've had to figure out how to make it like mm, sturdy and I have to put it together. So I don't know. And is it worth it? Because we go from the weather right now, it would be just like a part of January, all of February, and a little bit of March. Like, is it worth to do? Well, I guess if I'm growing like peppers or something, which I don't even drop in the ground to like May or uh, something like that. March, April, May. March, April, May. Maybe it's May. Maybe it's April. I don't know. I don't know. What do y'all think? In Texas, like, do we need a greenhouse like i would like one to protect like certain like my banana tree if it didn't die on me but um yeah it's dead i don't even know if it's dead maybe it'll come back but i don't know i'm just having a hard time i'm having a hard time right now with a lot of these uh things it's like i grow really good some things and some things i just don't grow really well so i'm excellent cucumbers and squash and zucchini and um peppers and some flowers and then i'll go to grow something like really random and be like okay like karabi i planted like the whole pack and i got one karabi but i don't know if it was just the timing or what i did wrong i'm sure i did something wrong anyway so i'm out i'm soaking wet from being in the rain so i'm gonna go and do a quick shower and head to the gym make me a smoothie of course my favorite banana smoothie uh, my banana pudding smoothie for those who ordered from um just move let me know what you think about the powder i know i got a couple of people who responded to me and told me it was amazing i was like yes actually i'm not gonna do this one today actually i'm gonna go ahead and finish off my um my sample pack i'm gonna do I think I'm gonna do the chocolate cake one today. I think I'm gonna do this one. And yeah, that is it for me. Thanks for hanging out with me. I am getting ready for 
all the filming and uh, I had some film, uh, uh, well, I had some obligations, okay? And then I had some other films I just want to do. But don't forget to go subscribe on my other channel. I will put it down below from all the vlogs, like hanging out in the streets and whatnot. Because I'll be vlogging over there for sure, like the daily vlogs. If I go to Dollar Tree today, I'll definitely vlog that if I can. What they have in store in regards to like your gardening. And um, now I can't see. That's why I got to keep these on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just like that. I need to go back to the eye doctor. Um, in regards to like the gardening supplies or spring stuff or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. I was thinking about cleaning out my shed outside and uh, putting some shelves in there and put some trays. I don't think about it. It's dark. There's no light. Like, I don't know if I want another, like, something in the backyard, like another something. But I do want to make some of the big longer like um growing what do you call those with beds like the tall ones or whatever containers i do want to make some i just don't know i don't know if it'll be i don't know the pricing of like the wood and everything i would need for that but i want to try it and they'll just be like six inches deep i don't want them extremely deep I'm not, i don't plan on growing anything that's like the deep vegetable like stuff i just want to grow like, um, I don't know what I want to grow on those, but I want them. So I either have to pay somebody to make some for me or make them myself. And I don't mind trying once. At least Lowe's and Home Depot will cut the wood for me. I just need to get the materials. And I don't want to grow something for a season. Like spend like a hundred bucks on growing something and, I, and that's it. Like I want to grow it and be able to move it, take it with me. Y'all know all the things. I have all the tools, I believe, except for like the circle saw. I do, except for the saw. Circle saw. I have the regular like hand saw, the one that's the hand machine, but I don't really have any big. Mm -mm, I don't. I even have the pocket screw, like thing that shows you how to screw in pocket uh, pocket holes or whatever. The, mm, the little thing. I don't know. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. if you know of any channels where they've actually done these and made these and they were really simple and easy to make, link them down below so I can go and binge watch them and see if I can get some encouragement from the channels. But I just wanted to say, listen, it is 2024. If you've ever wanted to grow food, now's the time to grow food, right? Just get you some seed packs from Dollar Tree and just start growing. Just start growing. Just get you some bags of soil from Home Depot Lowe's if you're not comfortable with going to your local like nursery place to get soil dumped. Start growing in grow bags. It's really affordable. Or go to Green Stock, like the towers, and just order one tower and just grow in that tower. Just grow 20 things real quick. Like, you know, just start growing and then once you start growing you learn from your mistakes and then start watching these channels and learning from their mistakes and then learning what works for them and then maybe tweak it to work for you because not everything will work for you that works for them like my cauliflower worked for me whereas someone i watched she couldn't grow it like you just never know right but you don't know until you start growing so i encourage you to start growing your own food and go from garden to table i will see you on the next video peace and blessings